Today's warmer weather is a welcome sight after the extreme cold. The frigid weather is hard on a lot of things, including vehicles and batteries. Tonight, we check in with the school district about how its electric buses fared in the cold snap. Tom Godby likes being behind the wheel of this electric bus. This screen shows the Garrettson school bus driver how much battery life he has on his routes. I'm at 97%. The district received three e-buses last fall through a federal program. Superintendent Guy Johnson says the biggest concern was how the buses would handle the sub-zero weather. After a chilly test this month, he says the buses have performed the way the manufacturers said they would. Power levels, instead of being at 100 percent, dropped down to about 85 percent, um, and that's more than enough for us to finish our routes. Once the drivers finish their morning routes, they plug them in so they're charged up for the afternoon. Drivers and students are also getting a quieter ride in the e-buses. We've, we've had some of the drivers talk about the way that they appreciate actually being able to hear the kids when they're talking to them. It's a good fit for Godby as he does the job he looks forward to every day. Just makes you feel good you're doing something for the community and the school. Now, the buses do have a heater fueled by diesel that keeps the inside of the bus warm. Several other districts also received e-buses through the program.